Hello, calling all future tech wizards. Are you ready to unlock the secrets of Section B of the AQA A-Level Computer Science Programming Paper? So join me, Daniel Bullen, through the YouTube channel Learn Computing with Daniel Bullen on a journey through the depths of this section of this paper as we unravel through a complex task, decode tricky parts of the code of the program, and arm you with the knowledge to eventually ace your exams. So whether you're a seasoned coder or just dipping your toes into the world of programming for the very first time, this video will be your passport to success. So hit that subscribe button, hit that like button uh, and that notifications bell, share this channel far and wide, click, you know, click on the share button and grab your virtual notebook as we embark on this epic adventure together. So, what is the question? So the question we're going to go over is section B, which is question 5 of the 2022 paper 1 for the AQA A-level computer science course there. So, on section B, we're advised to spend no more than 20 minutes on this section. So we need to enter our answers in section B in an electronic answer document which you'll be provided with, which we have to save at regular intervals. So in other words, Make sure you save it, because if you don't, then you'll just be in a plonker. But hey, so it's a, this question is asking us to write code starting from a new program. So we need to save our program at regular intervals, otherwise you'll just be in a plonker. So we need to write a program that asks the user to enter a string. It should change the order of the vowels in the string and display the results. So if there are n vowels, so n could be a variable called n, then the first vowel in the string should be swapped with the nth vowel in the string. Second vowel should be swapped with the one whatever n minus 1 is in that string, and so on. So in the vowels, a, e, i, o, u. So a, e, i, o, u, they are our vowels in the alphabet. So let's say if a user enters a string horse, the program has to display the string herso. If user enters goose, then it should display geoso, etc. So we may assume that the string that the user enters will contain only lowercase letters. So you'll get 12 marks for the whole source code, getting that correct, and one mark for catching the screenshot of that code working. So we are going to get into all that. But we're going to actually make the code first to test it. So, common sense will dictate to us. So, common sense is going to dictate to us to write a string. Okay? So, that's what common sense is going to do. So, we got to write any. So, we're going to make sure that we enter a string. So, let's say. In our REPL, in our code, or any pipe developer, any developer platform for Python. So let's say I want to do use a string as our variable, and we need to input that. So we're going to ask a user to enter a string, and then we need a variable called endpos, so that's the end position. And then we're going to have len, and we're going to pass use a string into it to see how long it is. And then the start pos, that's our integer variable, which we're going to set to naught. And then what we'll need is while the end pos is greater than the start pos, which is starting position, then we need a while loop that goes into that. So we would have if user string, we're going to pass end pos is in a e i o u then we need another if statement so if user string is start pos in a e i o u so it's in there so we're essentially going to do user string is user string square brackets we need a zero as that's the start of the index then we're going to have 
start pos plus use a string. So we need to concatenate the string and concatenate the end pos. Add use a string. So what we need is a start pos plus one, which is our end pos. And then use a string plus a user string, start pos plus user string, end pos plus one, which is the len, which is going to be the user string. And then we have new line start pos plus equals one, which means increment. And then we'll have end pos minus equals one, which is decrement. And then if our condition, if the, if the condition of the inner if statement is not met, then we are essentially doing start pos plus equals one. So we're incrementing that. But we need, now need to work up the condition. What happens if the end pos is not in A, E, I, O, U? So we do else end pos equals minus one. Then in that, we need if user string, and we're going to do start pos. So if it's not in, so if we don't have A, E, I, O, U, then we need a statement that's going to, then we're going to need to have, then we need to increment the start position by one. And then once we've done all of that, you just print user string, and there we are. So we've got the code. Let's have a look back at the question and let's test it. So we've got the program source code. Now we need to test it, showing the results of three tests of the program by entering these strings. So I'm going to do purse polis. So here I'm going to do purse polis and watch in the console that watch what will happen to the to the vowels. Can't do that one, trace back, which doesn't make any sense whatsoever. Line five in AIU index string is out of range, which is unusual. Okay, so we need to, let's say I want to do the word purse polis. So you can see that the E and the I have swapped. Then you've got the E and the O as swap. So it's perso pelis. So all the vowels swapped. Okay. Now let's see what the next let's see what the next one is. Darius. So we need to try and test Darius. Watch the A and the U swap, but the I stay the same. Because there's only three vowels. And because there's three vowels, the third one, I, that stays where it is. But the other two, they swap. Okay, let's try the last one. X, E, R, X, E, X. So let's try. X, E, R, X, E, S. Watch the vowels swap. It's exactly the same because you got two E's and it's just two, two vowels there. Okay. So that is section B and we've spent, we've spent just under, just over five minutes doing this. That's because I'm trying to do it and trying to make it look easy. But when you actually do it, that's when you'll have to, that's when you'll have to do the code. When you have to think of what code to make from scratch. So, if you answer the question the way we have, with the code that we've had and the testing we've done, we will get 13 marks and we can tick off section B. So, if you look, so section B, but on some years, you can, as well as the solution that we've got in the mark scheme, we can have alternatives. But, this code in this example is a lot longer than the one we've done. So, uh, 